Good morning, uh, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and right now I am in my physics lab, and I am working with the 11 Cambridge class. We are preparing for the ATP paper, uh, so the for paper four, ATP paper alternative to practical. And in this video, in this session, we are going to learn that uh, how to decide that a rod is exactly horizontal or it is not. Okay. So, there are two techniques to decide that if the rod is horizontal to the ground or it is not horizontal to the ground and the trick is very simple. One trick is that you use a spirit level, you place the spirit level on this meter rule and if the spirit level will decide that this is horizontal or not. But in this session, in this video, we are going to learn that with the help of another scale, how you will decide that if this rod is horizontal to the table. The technique is very simple. Uh, the, I will check from the, the height of the right end of this rod from the bench and I will check the height of the left end of this rod from the bench. If both the heights are same, then it means that the rod is horizontal. So, uh, but for that purpose, there are, uh, when you will trying to find out the height of, of this rod, from the from the bench so for this purpose we will use another rod so I will place a rod we will place a rod it should be little a little distance at a distance from the rod whose level we want to check you see when you place this vertical rod the problem with this vertical rod is that when you hold this vertical rod this might be vertical to the bench or it might not be vertical because you see whenever you hold it it's possible that you tilt this a little bit you see when you are holding it this might be little tilted and to make sure that this rod is uh, vertical to the uh, to the bench we use a set square so we use a set square you see this is the set square and you know the set square has two sides which are mutually perpendicular to each other. So what we do, uh, we put those two sides, mutually perpendicular sides of the set square. One is on the table, the other is with the vertical rod. If the vertical rod will coincide with that side exactly, then it will show that the rod is, that will show that the rod is vertical to the bench. Once you have made sure that this is vertical to the bench, then we use another set, set square to find the height of this rod. For this purpose, you see we use the set square like this because there is a little gap between the rod and the vertical rod. So we use the set square like this to, to know what is the level of the bottom on this scale. Okay, so this is how you use the set square to read the height of this rod from the bench with the help of the set square. So, okay. And this will avoid the parallax error as well. So, I will check the height from this end, at this end of the rod, I will check its height from the bench. Then I will, uh, I will check the height from the, of the left end from the bench. If both the heights will be same, it will mean that the rod is exactly horizontal to the bench. So I hope you have understood this. So thank you very much everyone. Have a good day and God bless you all.